Hello, how are you today? My name is Crystal Chibu and I'm your Hope Catalyst. Today I am going to be talking to non-profit and I'm going to be telling you best practices on governance, corporate governance in the non-profit space. Um, the NGO space is really, really growing. It's growing so big especially because the issues that we are having around is also growing. As the population is growing, community issues are growing. And so we need social uh, solutions for our community issues. We need a lot of people to come in because the government can, you know, really not do it alone. So today I'm going to be sharing the best practices on how to have good corporate governance in place in your non-profit. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, remember to click subscribe and turn on the notification button. That way you're not going to miss anything at all. So I'm going to go you know, right into the issues of the things that I want to discuss today. The first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you have a lot of issues that are arising, you know, when it comes to corporate governance and these things need, 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 need to be addressed. The first issue that you see around this issue on accountability. A lot of organizations are not accountable to anybody because you know what? When people even start their NGOs, all they have at the back of their mind is I want to do good. And you know, they forget the accountability part. And sometimes, you know, you begin to hear from people in the community that NGOs are not accountable. In fact, um, one of the reasons that governance is important is for self regulation the second thing that you see is well there's a need for economic scale a lot of organization need to scale you need to move from your start position you know to sustaining the organization that you have and then scale but all of these issues are as a result also of governance issues when you think of economic of scale you start thinking the importance of governance. Third issue that I have seen around also is the issue of, I would say, um, structural growth uh, from time to time. You know, the, when, when the NGO starts or when your organization starts really, it, it starts as a small organization and then before you know it, there's a lot of structure, there's a lot of changes that have happened in your operation and even people growth uh, has, has happened and as a result of that you start having governance issue and then finally evaluation evaluating evaluation as the case may be thinking of the work that you do and how to evaluate um, in the non-profit space we call it monitoring and evaluation to make sure that we are in line with the things that we've set up to do either as an organization or you know on a particular project as a result of this i'm going to be sharing five best practices on how to drive governance the first best practice that i think works 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 and i think is the bedrock for everything and i'm a person of faith so one of the things that the holy book says is that two cannot work together except they agree and that if the foundation is destroyed there is nothing that the righteous can do so if you don't have the right foundation in place uh, and this foundation that i want to share it is a big deal you cannot have the best corporate governance in your ngo and i would say it's developing and maintaining uh, the competent and diverse board um i just read a book and the book is on board it's called Board Engage. And this book helps you to understand the step-by-step -step guide on how to actually set up your board and how to engage the board. It tells you how important it is for you to get the right people to work with, for you to have the right corporate governance uh, structure in place for your NGO. You need to have a competent board. You need to engage that board. You need to manage the board, um, you know, very well. And in order for you to do this, I've already put everything that you need to know in a book. And if you check the description, you see a link of how to get a copy of the book. But it is a crucial thing to have in order for you to drive the right corporate governance. The second thing that I want to talk about is roles and responsibilities of your organization and all of that. You know, we've talked about the board and the board is really uh, crucial, but you need to also have in place roles and responsibilities, JDs, SOPs, all of this you can call on the structure really for you to really drive and have the right 
corporate governance practice. The third most important thing is communication. Oh my God, this is really underestimated when it comes to corporate governance. It's communicating your vision. It's communicating your mission. It's communicating your goals as an organization. It's putting it out there, both for internal stakeholders and for external stakeholders, the history of the work that you guys do. All of that is crucial and important to ensuring that you have the right corporate governance. The fourth one would be alignment, alignment, alignment of all of those things. So you have the board, you have the management structure, you have all of this, and the mission and the vision, aligning all of those things. And finally, I already mentioned this when it came to the issues that you face or that you see in the nonprofit sector is accountability. Accountability is so huge. And um, one of the things that you might be asking is crystal how do i become accountable as an organization first that is why your board is needed your board helps with strategic guidance and direction and so they give um, the work with the management team to ensure that you are doing what you said you you will do so it's accountability in terms of finances is accountability in terms of programs is accountability in terms of the things that you said you will be to your beneficiaries and to the community and why you set up that social good in the first place i hope that this video has helped you all you need to do is drop the comments for me in the chat box and i will answer your questions I just launched a book called Board Engage and with Board Engage you will see everything that you need to know on how to set up a board, on how to get the right people on your board and how to engage these guys to be what they have committed to doing and finally it just makes you know getting your board ship very very easy. The book and how to get it is in the description of this video thank you remember to subscribe and also turn on the notification button and have a